There are plenty of different ways to scrape leads from Google Maps. You can do it using Octopus, you can do it using Phantom Buster, or you can also do it through Scrub.io, which is a kind of software allowing you to extract emails from Google Maps, among other things. You can find the link in the description for that one. But in this video, I want to be much more specific and we are going to extract Google Maps coordinates. Here is the plan. We have already retrieved a list of addresses and we expect to input them one after the other. But you're gonna ask, why don't we extract coordinates directly through Google Maps search results? Well, you can try but you will find the process very tricky and the results you will get may not be that accurate. For this tutorial, we're gonna use Octopus. It's a freemium web scraping tool and for what we will do, the free version is enough. You can find the link in the description. In this tutorial, I expect to input this list of comprehensive addresses. The idea is that you make sure that when you input your list, you will get the result you need. If it's not the case, I invite you to link multiple columns. For instance, you can associate the company name with the city or the company name with the city plus the country and so on. You get the idea. Anyway, let's start our task with a URL. I copy the URL and I input it on Octopus. First thing I want to do is to increase the timeout from 20 seconds to 120 seconds. And then I need to remove this kind of pop-up. So I turn on the browse mode. I click on reject all or accept all. It doesn't really matter. I turn off the browse mode right away. And then I'm going to use the cookies. I go to options, use cookie, use cookie from the current page and I click on apply. With this move, I make sure that I won't have this pop-up anymore. I need to input my list here. I click on it. I click on enter text and enter text in bulk. All I need to do is to copy and paste my list. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to scrape only 30 addresses. Here we go, I confirm and I've got my 30 addresses. But it's not enough. As you can see, we have input or text, but we don't get our result. To get it, we need to hit the enter return key when finish entering. The important thing here is that you need to add a timeout for instance, four seconds, and to load the new page with Ajax. Same thing with a timeout of 10 seconds, let's say. And as you can see, I've got my result. It's time to extract our data. I'm going to extract four columns, the title, the address, the latitude, and the longitude. Let's start with the title. I click on it and I click on extract text of the selected element. Same thing with the address, which might be below. And I rename my colon title address. Now, what about the coordinates? Something which is interesting is that the latitude and the longitude are available within the URL. So, I'm going to extract the URL and then I'm going to clean my data in order to make sure I've got exactly what I need. Let's start with the latitude. I click on page URL, latitude, and I click on more, clean data, add step, match with regular expression, try the regex tool, and I notice that the latitude or the longitude, no, latitude, is available between the average base 
I'm not sure if it's the correct pronunciation and a coma. So let's go. It starts with this and ends with this. I generate, I match, I click on apply, confirm, apply, and I've got my latitude. Maybe I was a bit fast. So let's start all over again with the longitude. I click on add custom field, page level data and page URL. It doesn't change. Longitude. I click on more, clean data, add step, match regular expression, try the regex tool. This one might be a bit more tricky. The longitude is available between two commas. So why not? It starts with this and ends with that. It works, but I want to make sure it's very accurate. So I'm going to modify my regex a little bit. So like this, yeah, backslash the plus, backslash dot, backslash the plus. Okay, perfect. I click on apply, confirm, and apply, and I've got my longitude. One last thing I need to do is to modify the XPath for both my title and my address. It's not something mandatory, it just helps me to add more accuracy. To change the XPath, I click on more, once again, customize XPath, and for the title, I am only need the beginning slash slash h1 and for the address I'm going to input that xpath. For these two xpaths I will input them in the description but please note that actually xpaths can change over time so in the mid long run it's very important to learn how to write them. For a safety reason I will add a timeout. Once again, I will wait 10 seconds each time. I click on run and I click on standard mode. I will see you back for the results. We've got our data. All that remains is to export it, let's say on an Excel format. As you can see, everything sounds fine, but We've got two empty cells. These are not true mistakes because if we pay attention to these two lines, we can notice that both these companies are closed. So maybe they are no longer available on Google Maps. This is the end of the video. If you need another way in order to scrape Google Maps coordinates, there is scrap.io. The link is still in the description. If you have any trouble with authors, you can ask in the comments, but if it's something really specific, you can also ask for a coaching or another kind of service by sending me an email. Enjoy and see you soon.